is the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. This is the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. The news edited by Katharine Pereira and read by Lavani Vijayatunga. First, we take a look at the headlines. A novel mobile application designed to promote bleach cleanliness. The Prime Minister says that the support of the district secretaries is needed to complete the Aswasma program. Water level of several reservoirs has declined by 70% due to the existing dry weather. 17 police officers, including SDIGs, transferred and CID gets a new director. In news overseas, actor Gregory Wong, among the 12 jailed over 2019 protests. Those are the headlines and now let's move on to the details of the local news. A meeting was convened at the Presidential Secretariat yesterday, chaired by a senior advisor to the President on National Security and Chief of Presidential Staff, Sagla Ratnaka, to discuss the launch of a new mobile application, Beach Cleanup Coordination App, aimed at enhancing the cleanliness and the waste management on beaches. The introduction of this mobile application is facilitated through the intervention of the Coastal Conservation Protection Authority. It aims to formalize coordination among the institutions and organizations engaged in the sustainable development of coastal and marine environments. Mr. Sagala Ratnaka emphasized the importance of commitment from all the institutions responsible for ensuring the sustainability of the ocean and the coastal areas in maintaining the cleanliness. He highlighted that the new mobile app will serve as a tool to facilitate these activities effectively. Emphasizing the necessity of expanding the current education and awareness programs concerning the coastal cleanliness and preservation, Mr. Ratnaka noted that such efforts would significantly contribute to the government's initiative to promote tourism in the coastal regions. The Coastal Conservation and Protection Authority highlighted the severe pollution of coastal and marine resources caused by waste flowing from the rivers and canals, sewerage discharges, as well as waste dumped near the fishing ports and other marine areas. They emphasized the importance of cleaning up efforts involving the public and private institutions, as well as the non-governmental organizations. The introduction of the mobile app is expected to enhance the coordination of these activities for better effective waste management. Prime Minister Dinesh Gunavardhana says that the country has come forward due to the correct leadership of the present president. He made this remark at a discussion held at the Foundation Institute in Colombo yesterday. District and Division Secretaries participated at the event. The support of the District Secretaries is needed to complete the Aswesma program successfully. A total of 17 senior police officers, including senior deputy generals of police, have been transferred with immediate effect. The transfers are made under the directives of the Inspector General of Police, Deshabandhu Tenakon, pursuant to a decision made by the National Police Commission. Among the transferred officers are eight senior deputy generals of police, one deputy general of police, that's GIG, uh, eight senior superintendent of police, and one superintendent of police. Notably, SSP EMMS Dehidenia, who was serving as the officer in charge of the Mount Lavinia Police Station Division, has been moved to the Criminal Investigations Department as its director. Meanwhile, the current DIG director, SSP KAGAK Priya Sekara, has been transferred to lead the Kaluthera Police Station. This is the news from the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. And we continue with more local news. Water level of several reservoirs has declined by 70% due to the existing dry weather. The engineers in charge of the reservoirs say that the water level of the Castlery and Mausakale have declined considerably. The water consumption has also increased due to this reason. Meanwhile, the National Water Supply and Drainage Board said that the water is being provided to the areas of Dehivala, Ratmalana, Moratua, Panadura, Vadua and Vaskadua with low pressure. 
Bini Samanusha Nanekar says that it is essential for us to be free from debt before the year 2048. The amount of dollars received by the country has exceeded 10 billion rupees. He made these remarks at a ceremony held in Polon Narwa. He also stated that the contribution of the migrant workers is important. The country was able to achieve many challenges due to the foreign remittances of the migrant workers. And to conclude the local news, the headlines once again. A novel mobile application designed to promote beach cleanliness. The Prime Minister says that the support of the district secretaries is needed to complete the ASMA program. Water level of several reservoirs has declined by 70% due to the existing dry weather. 17 police officers including SDIGs transferred and the CID gets a new director. And that was the local news. The main news story is brought to you by Siddha Lepa Veda Mahatma. The main news story for this evening. Deputy Ambassador of the US Embassy Douglas Sonek says that opportunities to export local products from the northern and the eastern provinces will be enhanced. It is expected to encourage the small and medium scale entrepreneurs. Through the implementation of this program, attention has been paid to the difficulties faced by the people due to the increase of cost of living, and that was the main news story. The main news story was brought to you by Siddhalepa Vedamahatma. Watch Life is brought to you by CID Navy offer valuable gifts and gift vouchers 25% discount for bank cards till 10th of April visit CIB today CIB revives once always And in Washington this evening the residents say that the Luhuvala Khanda road across the Badigama Unan Vidya is in a severe dilapidated condition people living in the area face severe difficulties due to this reason They request the relevant authorities to renovate this road as soon as possible and that came to you in watch light CIB Navy offer valuable gifts and gift vouchers 25% discount for bank cards till 10th of April visit CIB today CIB revives once always Coming up world news The headlines of the world news, Hong Kong actor Gregory Wong among the 12 jailed over the 2019 protests. Japanese Prime Minister Kishida slams ruling party event with scantily clad dancers. Israel Gaza aid reaches Gaza show in first sea delivery. Those are the headlines and now let's move on to the details of the world news. Hong Kong actor Gregory Wong and 11 others have been jailed for their role in the storming the city's legislature during the protests in the year 2019. Wong was jailed for just over 6 years, one of the longest sentences handed down by the district court today. Activists Ventus Luau and Owen Chow were among the others given prison terms linked to the pro-democracy protests. Meanwhile, two journalists were fined for illegally entering the legislature council chamber at the time. Most of the defendants are found guilty of rioting. The incident happened in July 2019 and was seen as a key moment in the pro-democracy protests that erupted over a controversial law allowing the extradition of people to mainland China. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has slammed a gathering of the ruling party members last November that involved scantily clad dancers. Leaked footage of the event organized by the chapter of the Liberal Democratic Party showed women in swimwear sitting on participants' lap, reporters said. The event was highly inappropriate and most regrettable Mr Kishida when grilled by lawmakers yesterday at least one of the event organizers has since, re- since resigned from the party two women who are reportedly part of Osaka Kyoto based glamour dancers troupe were asked to use their mouths to receive the banknotes hanging from participants mouth claimed the local media reports The first maritime humanitarian aid shipment to Gaza has been unloaded onto the show. The US charity behind the mission, World Central Kitchen, is carrying out the mission in cooperation with the United Arab Emirates. 
the shipment contained 200 tons of food desperately needed for Gaza, which the UN says is on the brink of famine. Aid agencies have accused Israel of impeding aid deliveries, a charge vehemently denied by the Israeli officials. They say that Israel is allowing aid through the two crossings in the south and has blamed agents, agencies for logistical failures. And that was the World News. Development News. In development news, an emergency call centre dedicated to the Tamil-speaking community, especially in the north and the east, was launched in Vovnia today. The police media division said the Tamil-speaking community can contact the call centre via the hotline 107 to seek assistance of any sort. And that came to you in the segment of development news. Moving on with sports news. Sri Lanka Cricket has announced the appointment of Akib Javid as their fast bowling coach until the end of the T20 World Cup Series 2024 today. Javid, who was previously working with the Pakistani and the UAE national teams, will resume his new role with immediate effect. The rest of sports news, business news, coming up. Go ekatiana youth ticket, life ticket, change ticket, near meta set trainer. As for Hagena, the Kukuida, Habakarana, youth ticket, near meta set trainer, friendship meta menda. The all new NSP Ithrumitru account, NSP I am, a plan for your dream. Business news, sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. The Sri Lanka Handicraft Board will open its 11th showroom, Lux Alla, near the world-renowned Nine Arch Bridge, which is close to the Alla Railway Station. The newly renovated Nine Arch Bridge is located between the Modera and the world-renowned Alla Railway Station. The bridge is located 272 kilometers away from the city of Colombo and became a tourist hotspot in the recent past. According to the history, the Nine Arch Bridge was built during the colonial era in 1921 and the construction work of the bridge was then completed in bricks and cement. That was the business news. Economic news follows. Business news. Sponsored by National Savings Bank. The safest place for your money. Go ekatiana youth ticket, life ticket, change ticket, near meta set trainer. As for Hagena, the Kukuida, Habakarana. Youth ticket, near meta set trainer, friendship meta menda. The all new NSB Ithrumitru account, NSB I am, a plan for your dream. In economic news, the Colombo stock market enjoyed a high growth week thanks to the investors sustaining their bullish sentiments amid the healthy turnover. The benchmark ASBI gained 290.8 points, that is a 2.6%, and the active S&P SL20 gained 97.8 points, that is a 3.1%. The daily turnover averaged 1.7 billion rupees. In the previous week, the ASBI and S&P SL20 gained 3.3% and 3.6% respectively, whilst the turnover averaged 2 billion rupees. Asia Securities said yesterday the market ended on a strong note as the indices remain in the green for the 10th straight session, but notwithstanding the minor profit-taking in LOLC Group stocks. That is economic news and the weather report to conclude. Weather report. And finally, the weather report, showers or thunder showers may occur at a few places in the Sabaragamo province and in the Kaluthara, Gaul, Mathara and Nuera area districts in the evening or night. Many dry weather will prevail elsewhere in the island. Misty conditions can be expected at some places in the Sabaragamo, Central and Uwa provinces and in the Gaul and Mathara districts during the morning hours. And before we conclude this bulletin, let's get back to the headlines once again. A novel mobile application designed to promote beach cleanliness. The Prime Minister says that the support of the district secretaries is needed to complete the Aswasma program. Water level of several reservoirs has declined by 70% due to the existing dry weather. 17 police officers, including SDIGs, transferred and the CID gets a new director. In New Zealand, actor Gregory Wong among the 12 jailed over the 2019 protests. And with that, we conclude this bulletin of news. Now it's back to your regular Saturday evening host, my good friend Chandima, on the other side of the class panel to keep you entertained. <laughs> 